Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. So let's see what else we can find. So are we going to go beyond the Great Divide and finally get on with things? Uh, no. no. Are very well, you, well, we well, very well, you are guys are so, well. You guys are so afraid of the get uh, of the Great Divide. Anyway, Glaucus oh, no, is. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's only Dweebs that's afraid of the Great Divide. Wait, no, no, we no, just no, not talk ambition. about it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not afraid. I know. I know a perfect solution. We'll go over the Great Divide. We'll fly over it. Actually, we'll let's have to go through it. Well, 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 that is what we're trying to do with the ship. Well, remember, Dweebs. That's exactly Leander's plan to jump over it. I just wish I just wish the Avatar crew could have done that. Anyway, sure with the Netflix yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I saw actually the the, script, the title for that. Yeah, Glaucus the ambitious angler. It sounds like a League of Legends title character. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a new development on the st on the r romance story between Glaucus and Sibylla. Glaucus, oh boy. Glaucus actually wants to join Evermore. So, oh, but that means she, he will leave her. Well, it's not like they were a couple. Well, yeah. but she wants to be next to him, so... Let's see what Sibylla so said. So she'll move probably too. Let's see. Let's see how things... Uh, let's see how this goes. For now, let's just talk to Glaucus. Uh, oh, greetings. Uh. Hey, Glaucus. You wish me to come to your kingdom, correct? Very well, I'm ready to leave at any time. I didn't Fuck ask, this carcass but, uh, okay. But first, I must thank you for being so helpful to Sibylla. I have given matters between myself and there a great deal of consideration. I'm gonna ask her to be my best friend. I decided to forget her. Wow. Dang. Oh. Okay, okay. I understand how she feels about me, but I have a dream. I cannot expect uh, her to be part of its fulfillment. Sorry, love. Dreams come first. You see, I wish to leave Hydropolis. I wish to sail to far off seas. Uh, I wish to make your kingdom the base from which I do so. Well, yeah, our kingdom is right well, next to Well, my them. kingdom is kind of in the middle of... You know what? I'm not going to tell him that. Of course, I'm not gonna, I understand I cannot accept your patronage only to do as I please. Should you need me, I will gladly fight for you. You will find my shield a powerful defense asset, so the battle will grow too long to... And too my hard, axe! So. <laughs> It looks like it looks like he's trying to feel for something. Dang, really? Wow. That's, that's cold. No, yeah. no, not dry. You know what I love? I the fact that all of her just. You know what's you know what interesting? Hold on. I really don't need to say the word. <laughs> and should you meet me, Sibylla? Please assure him that I am well. Now. I had best be on my way. As soon you know as I, I can find what I'm looking for. You know my job here is done. You know what I love the fact that Evan doesn't even get a single word and he it's just he's like, Oh yeah, sure, I'll come to your kingdom, blah blah blah. You oh. know what's interesting? Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, the, 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 in Kot uh, there was a, a journalist at Kotaku. I know, I know, but uh, bear with me. Go ahead, go ahead. If it's one of the better ones, let's hear it. Uh, Here you are, Greek octopuses, but you like, man. Well, oh, yeah, I forgot about this side quest too. Well, the last time I uh, showed this to Teo, he did say, and I quote, that, uh, okay, um, lady, you probably should quit Kotaku. You're too good for that place. But anyway, <laughs> um,. <sighs> Anyway, basically, um, this woman who's a... Uh, basically, the, the people at Kotaku have praised Ninokuni's uh, two uh, side quests. And this particular journalist gave this uh, a specific uh, mention about Glaucus, calling him Ninokuni 2's biggest jerk. <laughs> so, I mean, to be fair, for all we know, he's just not comfortable with a relationship. Or maybe he's gay. More like uh, he, he may be also... <laughs> He, might, he may be also afraid that his lifestyle can damage uh, Sibylla. But the problem is, the thing is, uh, the way the previous side quest was shown, it uh, clearly see it clearly is it clearly seems uh, that he doesn't seem to be really into her, you know, to begin with. Yeah, it's a very tricky situation, that's for sure. I'm gonna assume that there's probably gonna be Here's more that, that they flesh it out with. Like squid then, I, 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 I love what she. Uh, 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 no, not at all. I, I, I love how um, this well, is her. I'm not hugely keen on how slimy they are. They're not exactly beautiful, but they're oh. so delicious and I don't care. <laughs> Hold wow, on. Hold, on. Yes, uh, Pedro. hold on, Java, let me just mention this. Uh, here's her actual reaction. Uh, the worst part of it 
Evan said nothing. Evan witnessed a deep emotional cut while Sibylla still addressed their relationship as something tangible. Yeah. Because if you speak to... Because Sibylla later on, she's also going to ask us to come to Evermore so she can, you know, continue to pursue Glaucus. I uh, knew it. No. I knew it. I called it. And yes, that sounds like that's going to be a lot of fun. But um, and I'm at first... She used the, she, Does she, this go anywhere? She, used the, <laughs> she, she uses this to praise Nino, uh, Nino Kuri 2's uh, world building as here is saying. For a game that's mostly uplifting, Nino Kuri 2 shocked me with Glaucus. Yes, it was quite funny how it happened, but in a messy way that caught me off guard. It was also cool that the game focused on this one interpersonal relationship in such detail, allowing it to unfold during the course of the story and connecting me to its characters in a meaningful way. I tend to enjoy these interactions in my games, even if I end up, even if I end up aiding some of the worst townsfolk that humanity can offer. <laughs> of course. Glaucus's Glock, quest, inclusion, and few others help complicate and balance Nino Kuni 2's world. The game does all of this while being wholly committed to using its people, locations, lore, blah, 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 blah to create a... Eh, um, basically, to create a humorous, engaging, and surprising grounded world waiting to be discovered. Unfortunately, as with any grounded world, there are perfectly horrible people like Glaucus waiting to meet you too. So yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't even call Glaucus a terrible person because I haven't seen enough to judge him as such. I mean, from what I've seen, he's just a guy who, while he considers Sibylla a friend, might find her a bit too clingy he and hey, he wants to do first, his own uh, and his own dreams. Uh... Mm -hmm. And I do have to wonder if maybe he's a bit creeped out by Sabella concerning his house. Sabella, well, okay, let's be quite honest. Sibilla. If you want to establish yeah. a relationship, yeah. you got to actually talk to the person first and foremost. Sabella never came to him directly. <laughs> it, it was always through us. It's like I said, Not also. Not only that, uh, um, well, judging by the little that is being shown of Glaucus, uh, I'm personally believing he is an introvert and as a result uh, uh, doesn't have... Uh, that many social skills to begin with, uh, and as such, uh, um, he runs away from any. Uh, not, not, that, that, not just that, he even decided to put his dreams and uh, job before Sibylla. Uh, like I said, maybe also be a form of protection BP because he thinks uh, he will not be able to handle that uh, the responsibility. Again, oh, this is. We the... talked over a side quest involving us having the food. How even was it? Don't, don't, don't. Well, we, it, we started in, uh, in one of the previous parts, I remember that. It yeah. was just to uh, deliver me 30 bear asses. Oh, I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm just wondering how the food turned out since that's what we were getting. It for turned out that we could really try good. a sample. Uh, basically, Evan just comment how he likes fish because her pty derp is a cat. Honestly. <laughs> uh, I, I, but again. <laughs> But again, it's just like, again, once again, Hino's biggest weapon when it comes to making the world believable is his great character writing. He really, he's really good at making characters interesting in a short amount of time. Like and a, hey, this time we don't even have a magic tri story, tri backstory with dead parents. No, so. no, instead we're watching Glaucus basically trash Sibylla's dreams because apparently that's much better. <laughs> isn't that what happened also in I that I don't know, I'll take that over the constant dead parents, I'm not gonna Isn't lie. that uh, kind of what happened also in that uh, later an episode that you didn't like, the one with the rocket, uh, something similar to that? Uh, well, yeah, oh, but that's, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's its own can of worms, but we can talk about that later. Um, now there's actually two side quests to be found in the palace. So well, I gotta say, well, I gotta say, if Sibylla goes all yandere over this, count me interested. We don't see enough yandere stories Just in these Sibilla. games. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not a Sunder plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at, um... Yes, Leaves Yeah. No, that's one, um, that's one thing I was wondering, um, Pedro, uh... I wonder when we're going to get to um, when we're going to get to the next main story. I mean, I know you're like, uh, I know, you, I know, I know you want to show off a lot of stuff. I know I'm having a good time watching it. It's oh, just, oh, hey, I'm it's, dying. it's just well, even, well, even though I don't no, like do, the great do, divide, we've got to get the short. No, 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 no. Dwebs do, 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 actually has a good point. Don't worry. Um, I'll, in the next part, Dwebs. See, the thing is, Dwebs, I'm really. I'm, I very much recommend Dwebs, again, uh, just trust me that all of these side quests will add up in making the main plot even better, because if you if you go out of your way to familiarize yourself with the world and get all the, the subjects that you can, it will make the finale of where Evan, of course, because of it, even more fulfilling, because you got to go through all of this. Trust me, it, it will all add up in the end. But yeah, I can see what you, but don't worry, we will get back to it. But anyway, uh, Shiroi, if you please. Oh, okay. 
A pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Licorious. Basically, basically she's like a Licorious. Basically, oh, you can use it. Oh my God, she is undone. <laughs> <laughs> you just spear. You know, we could really do with someone like you over in our, over in our new kingdom. We don't have spear. that many spear fillers. Basically, she's a, a, a soldier at the palace, basically. Go ahead. I am honored, yet I must refuse. You see. Are you sure Pedro, this is base for Yeah, you're really sure you're base for Is it? Sure is it? Yeah. Okay, you... never mind, sorry. Uh, I, I guess Jova, I'll go. Jova, you're the Undyne. Jova. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Since go... I'm the one voicing Undyne for our actual Undertale playthrough, might as well. Go ahead. Go ahead. A monster? That's terrible. Someone needs to come deal with it right away. That's terrible. And that someone is probably <laughs> going to be me and Lofty. Huh, my sentiments exactly. Oh, whether that I myself be able to do it and put an end to its murderous rampage, alas, it is impossible. I am a palace guard, you see. My duty is to remain here and ensure that Queen Neria comes to no harm, True. and that includes True. her virginity. <laughs> so you want to go and help uh, me out? <laughs> I think, uh, not for nothing, Lycorius, but I think Queen Neria is already decided that she's going to lose that with a certain someone, but whatever. Hey, only when she gives the absolute say so. Ever That's since I was a girl, I always wanted to be a heroine. Trust people from the clutches of evil. Oh my god, she is a nine! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess you don't really like Undertale. Just, just a little or bit more yelling, it. Jova. Well, that, that, that's not surprising, Jova, because one of the later episodes of Yokai Watch Me Into Have Seen actually does does have a, an Undertale reference. So wouldn't surprise Why, me. A what? lot of a, a, a lot of Japanese devs really like Undertale, Shiroi. Yeah. No, no. I think I, even I Kojima it's, it's gave all, his own. It's all uh, it sold more in Japan, as, as far as I recall. Hmm. Anyway, which shows that anime truly Basically, is real. Big, big monster, defeat it. Oh, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Now, can you tell us what this monster is? We do this for okay. a living it's normally. This, it's this giant crack, and he's eating a lot of stuff. But don't worry, he'll be killed off screen at some point, so you don't have to yeah, worry. Yeah, it's about been it. most often seen terrorizing the area around Macronos, I believe. But do you really mean what you say? Are you truly intending to go and fight it? Please, yes. we do this every weekend. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. And then we go bowling <laughs> afterwards. Of course we are. We'll take care of it and report it to you so right away. So and Evan, then I will make you the captain of my guard. So Evan, what did you do today? Oh, I killed a bajillion different monsters, b b b b monsters of darkness. Hey, it was all <laughs> worth it. You know why? Because I had to all right, now this cool. Now this is actually you, Shira. Your pearl voice, oh, please. hello. Talim. What are you doing? Um, yep. Your, your, girl, wow. your little girl voice. It is you, the boy in my dream. Please, you must take me with you. Uh, no, thank you. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is Pio. She's one of my favorite NPCs, actually. But so go ahead. So first, Undyne from Return. Now, tell him from Child More, of Light. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, yeah. I am doing what uh, you told me to do. You told me in my dream that I should follow you. Personality-wise, uh, uh, Jova, Jova reminds me of being more a princess Ruto. Yeah. Oh, disturbed. <laughs> all right, let's version of her. Uh, all right, let's let her elaborate. Why not? <laughs> hey, dear, which version of Princess Laruto? Uh, okay, no time. Ah, I spoke to you in your dream. Yes. Uh, okay, me. <clears throat> Spio, my child, you say that you heard a voice in your dream—the voice of a boy telling you to awaken <laughs> and to follow him. Am I missing something here? again? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Sure. Oh, yes, sister. Kalyanera. 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 Oh. But my dear child, Toriel. Basically, fish, she's uh, basically fish, she. Fish mom is not pleased. <laughs> basically, ba basic Kalyanera is a priestess, and Spear is training to be a priestess. Uh, I was about to say, are they nuns? Oh God. That well, was your brother's man. voice. You overslept, did you not? You know, you know. To be fair, Hydropolis was a place where pretty uh, much uh, all. Uh, yeah, yeah, I ahead, do not believe it. I was certain that I had received a message from the gods at last. Yeah, basically, um, she's waiting for finally getting a message from the gods to, you know, start her big initiation. Blah blah. blah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not quite a god yet. I'm just settling for being a king. I'm not quite sure I understand. <laughs> This is no surprise. That must be all be rather alien to one unfamiliar with the voice of Adropolis. My name is Kalyanera. I am a priestess, and this is Pio, my apprentice. Very lovely. Yes, very lovely, isn't it? 
Okay, see, while our skills pale in comparison to those of Queen Nyria, we do share some of the same abilities. Among them, the power to commune with the gods and with nature. It is our duty to use these powers for good. So, fortune telling? Kind uh, of precognition. Oh, crikey, that's virtuous. But the dream that Littleman was talking about sounds like it wasn't very ideal, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately not, Spio has yet to complete her training. Her abilities must be honed further before she is fully ready to communicate with the heavens. She's having some interference with the channel. <laughs> yes. she, she's having a bit of trouble communicating with the Force. Go ahead, you're right. <laughs> Sister Kalianaria is correct, of course. I still have much to learn, but I am determined to learn it. I want to help people, and I want to help you, King Evan. Just... Just as Queen Nira has instructed us to. For the sake oh, of yeah. uh, for the sake of facility, she would just call her Queen Cal. Sorry, um, Sister Cal. Mm. Okay. Queen Nira told you to help me. Gosh, Sister Kali and Nira, is Spio close to completing her training? Um, what more does she need to do? Spell Spyro wrong, you plebs. <laughs> <laughs> if I can help at all, I'd be more than happy to. That is most magnanimous of you, your majesty. Okay, so what do we need to do? The situation is as follows. A priestess cannot be ordained until she has heard the whisperings that emanate from the seashell known as the Sea God's Trumpet. Oh, hail the magic card! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we already got a SpongeBob reference with a surrogate squid war before, so why not? I mean, hell, her, her hairstyle looked like she killed Spyro and is wearing him on her head. Alas, oh, wow, the labyrinth in which a trumpet is kept has become I'm terribly not sure dangerous. Where you're that on a so, so basically, basically the, the, the muscles have been increasing lately. Of uh, course. Well, I would be honored. Well, Spiel, shall we? Um, what would it be, the magic conch or the helix fossil? Praise, right? praise Dom. <laughs> yes, I will find the trumpet, and I and I will become a fine, upstanding priestess dedicated to serving you, King Evan. Wow, I'm pledge about to... my allegiance to so, yeah. Ever... so yeah, in order to wow, reach the sea gods. Get... Sorry, go ahead. Wow, I'm about to get both a captain of the royal guard and a priestess. Things are looking good for Goldpaw. I mean, uh, never more. Ma well, actually, also, the chorus is not a captain. Like but, a yeah. like the, this kid's hair looks like it's shaped like a fishtail. Which is weird, because the chorus is dressed like a captain of the guard. She's got golden armor, while other people don't have his luscious armor. It always just come to my mind. Well, yes. Yes. What if, like, there was like the equivalent of J. Jonah Jameson in this universe, and well, he's constant, and, and, and every time he hears about it, Evan's journey, he's telling you about it's an Evermore, the Kingdom of Evermore, or he's a man or, or something. Yeah, yeah, the Kingdom of Evermore is a menace, and is. Um, and, and I'm Evan's actually surprised Mousinger is not doing some bad propaganda to secretly, discredit Evan. Evan is so. secretly building um, up his army to launch an invasion on Ding Dong Dell and eat all our crops. I'll get back to you on chapter eight too. Anyway, all right. let me guess. He's probably getting all of gold, but not gold palm. Ding Dong Dell, Ding well, Dong Dell, to hate us. Well, well. The, that, we'll see. We we'll do see. spend a lot of time in gold, Paul. He'll yeah, probably, yeah, drama, we'll see. He'll probably make them think anyway, that Pontus, Evan abandoned them. Anyway, Pontus, a self-proclaimed oceanographer. He doesn't know how to catch fish himself and relies on others to do it for him so he can study sea life around the, the Adrapalago. His unmatched knowledge of the medicinal properties of seaweed is highly... Um, the Valued. Point, the, the, the point is, is he knows shit. Anyway, let's see what else. Uh, Triton. A, a scholar with... Oh, sorry. Did we... Yeah, yeah, again? I think we already read this. this. Yeah, yeah, let me... I don't remember my... Oh, uh, Glaucus. A veteran fisherman who became something of a living legend in Adropolis when his boat was caught in a storm and he managed to swim all the way home. There you go, Teo. Uh, oh, he is Makutsunami's father. He is Makutsunami's wow, father. Yeah. <laughs> See? The video, game, the video game version of Aquaman looks awesome. That oh, kind of accident may also justify a BD's more close but behavior. See, but you see, Dwebs, this is the more lighthearted, colorful style that people have been clamoring for in the DCEU. But yeah, like Tia said, that might actually explain more his behavior. Kind of weird. Yeah, again, you know. Uh, yes. Like I, said, like, like I said before, I don't mind DC doing a darker turn. If everyone was doing exactly the same thing as Marvel, then there's no point in doing anything. Oh, yeah, of course. It's just the way they're going about it. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll just say this right anyway, now. Jonah, I'll just... Yes. 
I'll say this right now. Shazam is looking like a nice refresher. You know, something that actually just looks like it's... Okay, its first priority is to be a superhero film. Doesn't give a dang what its tone is. I mean, granted, it looks like it's keeping a nice, consistent tone of being yeah. more fun because it's Shazam. And I, like Zachary Le- and I like Zachary Levy, so I'm willing to give that a shot. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? What else was? Oh, yeah. Um, Aquaman, that's looking cool and fun. In fact, it's looking to be the saving grace. The Wonder Woman sequel, I'm liking the news I hear about that. I think if they pull out that Flashpoint sequel, reboot it so that they can get a better start with Superman and Batman, I think they can recover enough. Probably have to wait till at least 2021 for that. Now, here's just hoping they manage to definitely pull some magic with Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. I mean, look, I have even Joaquin Phoenix, but... I'm just saying this right now, like with 2008's Dark Knight, they got an uphill battle with how silly the Joker looks. Anyway, granted, maybe he'll be the next Heath Ledger, and you know, and I don't mean that but, he'll die, uh, but more so that he'll surprise us. But mm. yeah, like I, like I said, the, the fact that uh, Glaucus had that kind of accident kind of... It, not excuse it, but uh, makes me understand a bit more where that attitude may come from. That does sound like an interesting potential for story. Glaucus does not want to possibly cause the pain of him being lost to another one, but Sibylla, in her obsession over him, goes slightly mad and slowly... De- Your Highness, uh, consider the narrative of the, Consider the narrative of a psycho, she's just probably going to get over it. Oh yeah, uh, Teo, you're probably gonna be disappointed there if she. Wait, 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 Well, the one, 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 one occasion where I w- will be welcoming being wrong. Yeah, me too. <laughs> though I have to wonder, though. I mean, something's gotta happen. No, no, no. She, that's the thing. That, that's the thing, though. She never gets. It. Even though Glaucus will never uh, reciprocate her feelings, she will never give up up until the end of the game. She's she's going to continue. Uh, Trying and she's not gonna give up basically. Why do I get the feeling the side quest for her are gonna get pretty dark? <laughs> we'll see, John. We'll see. Oh, so wait, she's the, in, this like, is the monster that, uh, that this yeah, and it this runs away like a kid. and it runs away like a coward. Uh, a shaman Ooh, Lala. everyone. One point for the land of thy fathers. Wee! But yeah, okay. I mean, okay. Land of my f- be- l- wait, land of my fathers. Do this. We're not at chapter eight yet. Hold on. Come on. Okay, yeah, that's, that's 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 the name of the Welsh national anthem. I know. I know. That's uh, that's why I said that's the name of the chapter eight. Again, this game was was localized by Welsh people. If it wasn't obvious again. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. As I was saying, we I'll like be- shoehorning our quote culture. In yes. wherever we can. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, obviously the quest between Sibella and Glaucus has to end with nobody dying since there are people you add to your kingdom. And from what I can understand, kingdom members don't die. No, they do don't. They? No, they don't. Uh, my, my, what he knows going for at the end of the day, from my perspective at least, is the, the tragedy of her just continually deluding herself into thinking it's, it's similar, it's hey, similar isn't that like to... kind of what happened with uh, that witch who stole that singer guy's voice no not just that to that it's similar to what happened to inspector groski's number one fan yeah, although in that case uh, she actually gets over it if i recall no she so... does no she doesn't uh, remember she does uh, she uh, we have, I, have, I haven't seen azure and legacy in a while in show well okay okay was... uh, the, the basic gist of it is this tale she does quote unquote get over it for like 10 seconds seconds but then she immediately convinces herself no i won't give up and then she goes back all after him again well, doesn't she resolve to more so that she'll just continue being his cheerleader as opposed to trying to pine for his love java anna and Groski get married in my head canon don't ruin this for me please <laughs> it's in your head canon that the obsessed okay, okay 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 yeah you she, never no, marry your crazy stalker the, the, the woman the woman but she, no 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 anna is not a stalker she's deserved it this goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, despite the fact that Groski was already... Oh, wait, never mind. No, 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 remember, at the end of Astral Legacy, he's gonna leave his wife, so... Oh. Well, then in that case, say okay for her. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, okay, basically the gist of it is that, obviously, the monsters are increasing... And so, the ghosts of countless soldiers which have perished, blah blah blah. So we need, yes. so we need to help Spio get through this place to the um, sea, to, uh, the sea god's trumpet. So how? So here's my question: How did the ghosts of soldiers who have perished turn into monsters? Uh, magic. Yes, magic powder. It's it's magic. We don't have to explain it. 
Magic yes. power being sold by Forte, perhaps? Uh, okay, how, okay, fine. You want an explanation? Magical moon uh, tear beams. How about, how about that? <laughs> I but thought those were supposed to cure as, death for sleeping curses. Does it work as, as, um, as an escort mission in this case? No, it's a skirmish. Oh, just, just cl clean the room. Oh, okay. oh so Spear can actually fight. Yes, she can fight. Huh. Yeah. I guess they must teach them how to knuckle down. I guess the monk class be making a return. Uh, that's be Well, Atra Jova, her unit is a shield unit, meaning she's a defensive unit. Holy wow. cow, oh, is I shall cleanse the labyrinth of your no, 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 don't, 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 Holy don't, don't, cow, don't. these nuns can actually fight. Well, yes. kudos I to thought, them. I, uh, the, Jova, these are, these are badass nuns. <laughs> I would have thought she would have been using bow and arrows, uh, surprisingly. But, they but, use both and arrows. My sword is unbelievably as dull. A, 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 aside from projectile swords, hammers, and spears, too, there's also shield units which just basically defend. Basically, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Gaku's also mentioned that he can be used as a shield see? unit commander. Yeah. yeah. Oh, goody, more ghosts. They have ghost arrows. Shouldn't this just go through us? <laughs> Don't, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it's Lord it's, of the Rings ghost. Yeah, one. same logic as Return of a King. Yes. To be fair, though, those ghosts were more so. And that was a special a, sword. Them, but I digress. And that was a special sword that King Faedon you Well, not Faedon, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the, the King used to, uh, to. to put the ghosts in their place. Anduril, whatever. Alright. <laughs> Lost. So I also like the the name of the side quest. Lost Souls Lament. Don't worry, we'll put you out of your misery by. We, we're going to call it the living shit out of you. We're going to yes. call it Dark Souls Lament, but um, from software for a hit for a fit. Well, well, well actually, Nam 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 is involved. Nam publishing for the West, so technically they can. Yeah. yeah. Te technically, they technically it is possible. Um, uh, okay, the, the, the IP itself, the, does the IP... Okay, I know that Demon Souls belongs to Sony, but does the IP Dark Souls belongs to yeah, Namco so, Bandai, yeah, or does so, it belong to Front Software? No, no, it, it is Namco Bandai's full property. Originally it was just Bandai, but I think it was right before the merging. Yeah, don't quote me too much on that. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you see, guys, in the upcoming game, Nino Kuni 3, if you... You see, we are going to give a port of it to the Switch, and when you are, and when you apply the Solar Amiibo to it, Solar will be able to join you in battle. You know what's you know what's interesting, Jova? Um, the Switch version of Dark Souls is actually getting quite the the interesting uh, uh, praise because unlike the the uh, trashed uh, Dark Souls remaster that came out on PS4, PC, and um, Xbox One, the the Switch version is actually a port of the original 2011 release. So, wait, uh, so, so wait. Wait, so what does the PS4 remaster do then, I wonder? The PS4 remaster, um, basically it's not a very good remaster. Uh, from what they, the, the only the, the, to give a more technical point to Jova, it's basically fucking up some of the shaders uh, and the lighting engine, similar to the Prince of Persia H3 trilogy. Think of the thing that happened in the things that happened in uh, uh, were within just on a slightly better scale. It's not uh, completely disastrous, but it's worse looking. Don't you just love how remasters, which are supposed to make the games look better, make the games look and sometimes perform worse? Just play the PC version with DS Peaks and you're fine. Well, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I love the irony that the Switch version ended up getting the most love, even though people thought that one was going to get well, it. Well, remember, Java console-wise, the PC the PC version was basically the go-to one as soon as, the, as Durante fixed it. Uh, but nowadays, console-wise, I guess you go with the Switch version for that and portability, and if you're not really I a PC guess, player... Uh, You'd be surprised, too. There are plenty of gamers who aren't major PC players, because you often need a pretty good... Okay, you don't always need a great PC, but if you want to get the most best out of PC, you gotta get a nice build one. Well, I know, Jova, but whatever. I'm not here to argue on a console war for this. No, 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 no. The point is that we managed to get through, and our little priestess can finally sort uh, her vision. And we also saw, solved Licorius's predicament, so we're gonna get two uh, citizens in a row. I love how Evan literally said with Licorius, you can use a spear? Wow, I need to join you, I need to add you to my kingdom. Like, priorities, I guess. Well, Jova, it's, it's similar to with to me, Jova. The game was literally reading your mind again. Anyway, I mean, okay. 
Well, anyway, uh, while we were talking, basically Spiel found the sea god's trumpet, and she actually did manage to hear the voice of the gods. So, yeah, her initiation is complete. Go, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot believe it. You defeated the ferocious beast. And just as you said you would, Heaven, you are truly magnificent. Oh, I just... Yeah, I just did my best, that's all. <laughs> magnificent and modest. Do you know, Evan? Meeting you has made me realize something very important. What, me trying to get some screen time? Really? What's that? If I'm to be a true heroine, I must go to the aid of those in peril, no matter what my circumstances may be. And clearly my so queen is all just fine, so uh, I should probably be like the world. To get into shot. <laughs> and I must fight with all my heart to rescue them. There can be no excuse. Hey! Hey! Quit ogling me! <laughs> so long ignoring the cries of the needy on the name of work and duty and you know discarding the queen but i don't think she needs my help anymore well it's not your fault i mean you've got your job to do yeah that well, actually is a point but i can ignore their cries no longer i have made a decision i'm handing in my letter of resignation to the queen and telling her to stop it <laughs> I'm going to come with you to your kingdom and lead the heroic life I have always dreamed of. Someone is leaving my kingdom, how dare they? Really? Oh, that's great. You're going to be a great real heroine. I just know it. The greatest heroine in all the heartlands. Okay, Aww. so this is Undyne's ancestor. Kind of. But yeah, yeah I guess or, or or a sister, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it makes sense. This all takes place before the great war between humans the and monsters, monsters occurred, the, anyway. Yeah. Very well. I shall prepare to leave immediately by sharpening my spear in the name of justice. Justice. She is definitely undyed. In the <laughs> in the meantime, go ahead, Shuri. Oh, hello, Sister Kelly. I have retrieved the Sea God's trumpet. Took yeah. a bit of, uh, ghost bashing and ghost busting, but we handled mine. Also, yes, so she needs to be nicknamed after best girl. <laughs> really? We've barely known her. Well, you're not a Splatoon reference, Trova. Um, <laughs> excuse you. <laughs> ah, Spio, welcome back. It's such a relief to see you safe, but wait, something is amiss. What is wrong, my child? You've been saying my name wrong, it's Spyro. <laughs> Well, the thing is, Spio couldn't seem to hear anything from the sea god's trumpet. <gasps> no voices or anything. We were wondering if you might be able to help. Well, shit. She, she's not a uh, thingy, you see. Let's see. I see. I am afraid that the trumpet appears to have lost its power. Oh, there's <sighs> a warranty on the sea. Hold on, Dwez, hold on. Let's see, let's see this could go on. A warranty. <laughs> 500 year warranty. Uh, how could such a thing have happened? It's old. Oh, it's, it, 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 it lo it, yeah, it lo it, it's battery run out. Yeah, so I, I have to, and I have to go back to space Argos and order an underwater Argos. Does anybody, does, any, uh, does anybody have a Sea God uh, charger? Anybody? <laughs> no, no, no. I got, like I said, I have to go underwater Argos and get Sorry, them. mine's only compatible with Android. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll never get to become a priestess. Think, think, think of it like this, Twist. It's kind of like how I recommend you do pretty much almost all of the side quests in your Automata, because the side quests in your Automata are also pretty awesome. But anyway, um, I, there's been some centuries since an aspiring priestess last ventured into the labyrinth. It would not be out of the question for the Sea God's trumpet to have degenerated in the intervening years. So there you go. Yeah, Basically, 300 of them. <laughs> yeah. Three centuries? Of course! <laughs> well, time was repeating in Hydrobotus outside the kingdom, everything was carrying on is normal which explains wow, what really time time over. Over. yeah if only there were some magical means of turning back time mm. the trumpet's powers might be restored it's i wonder do we have a spell from the first game that, al that actually does this what do you think uh, do we have any some of it something mm. something crazy diamond <laughs> Turning back time. Evan, man, actually, Drova, actually, actually, Drova, that's Killer Queen. I, I think so, Lofty, but uh, my birthday is <laughs> not until next week. Anyway. So wait, you have to go back from no, to no. that place? Uh? No, 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 no. No, you just need to, you, you just need to learn the region of an eight spell from your from your kingdom's uh, spell works, which I already have. So. There you go. But you have to wait until your birthday to do it, or something. I Evan cast for Evan. Eight and the trumpet's power returns. By the god! Actually, that's Shiroi, go ahead. 
<laughs> but Lofty <laughs> moved. Oh, look, the trumpet is restored. But Lofty moved. I thought as, it was as long oh, as he no, doesn't he start moved. the trumpet theme, I'm fine. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> The no, screen, you. you can hear something inside it, Spio. Alright, let's try it. Drink your Ovaltine. Son of a... Oh. Is right? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I hear it. Wow, uh, Spio just got possessed by two people at the same time. That goes to show what the oh, uh, okay, power of being go ahead, is. Go ahead, Lips. My child, you must listen. You must soothe the ills of the world. You must follow the path set out by your savior. Is that and my mother talking through you? Praise be. Um, I am talking here. Oh, my, sorry, my inner voice can be annoying. Sister Callie, the gods are telling me that I must go with King Evan, are they not? Part twist, it turns out she just hates it here and she's mincing what they actually <laughs> say. Like, they're actually saying, uh, go clean your room. I yeah, seriously, it's in such a dreadful state. I wanna be in the great white somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. Anyway, indeed they are, my child. You read their message well. How do you know? Yes, you should I know, be lying for I know, all you. I know because I must know. It is my purpose. You said that Ugh. you wished for a fine upsetting priestess, and that is precisely what you have become. So there you go. Um Spear will become the priestess of the kingdom. We don't have any, so yeah, this should and remember we have a cathedral, so there you go. Great! Perfect, for perfect. That. now I have someone who can marry my citizens. <laughs> I guess. Ooh. I do. Well you come and live with us, Spio. And saying I do doesn't help either, Jova. <laughs> <laughs> I would enjoy nothing more. I will not let you down, Your Majesty. In fact, I promise to exceed your every expectation. Oh, excellent. You've made me the happiest king alive. Now, I just gotta get this dragon off my head and then I'll be good to go. Again, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Purple, she's yeah. called Spiro. That's blue, Julius. It's purple, I mean. No, it's blue. Oh, glimpse, glimpse, glimpse. I know that Activision are starving you for Spyro, but don't worry, it'll come out eventually. eventually. Um, as of now, about over a week. Oh, well. Let's see what... Uh, oh, a watery wand of wisdom I got from the side quest. Let's see. Watery wand of wisdom. More wi alliteration. Yes. <laughs> the world WWW. <laughs> yes. Where's the foolishly yeah. foolish well, flare? Well, Dweebs, it's not, it, at least it's not WWF. Uh, it will generate confusion instead. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I, I, well, then again, Vince, McMahon, Vin, Vin, of... Vince McMahon would sue. Actually, no, the other really? one sued him. Yeah. Over, yeah. An, over an acronym? Nah, over... I'm, I'm just joking. It, it actually, that actually happened. Oh, that's, yes? what forced it, that's what forced it uh, to change into WWE, the fact that the actual WWF uh, animal organization wanted to sue. Remember, even, though, even though the wrestling lot were around before the... Remember, uh, well, Pedro, the some, some, thing some, branches, some branches of animalists uh, tend uh, to be very extreme in what they decided uh, to do, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, hold on, we have a side quest here. You really, oh, hold on, sorry. Okay, basically, a there you go. Ribbon. Sheep ribbon, so we can build the shoes that he wants to build for, um, uh, okay, for catch. Here, here, are here you oh. are, Crispin. Some cheek ribbon. Great. This is exactly what I needed. Basically, he wants to make shoes for catch, in case you forgot. Thank you so much, King Evan. Catch will soon be sporting the same stylish shoes, the most stylish shoes, and all of them are more. So there you go. Catch has always oh, worn barefoot, but now he has shoes. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see his sights when he tries them on. Neither can I. I think it's going to be the highlight of my cobbling career. <laughs> no no person will walk barefoot on my watch. The cheesest... I, 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 love the name, I love the name of that side quest. The cheesest of shoes. Get it? Yeah, because... It, I think it's pronounced uh, French-wise. Uh, yeah, chic. Yeah, I know chic, but remember, we're trying to do the... Anyway, the point is... Uh, all right, everybody. In the next part, we finally go beyond the Great Divide. So, uh, see, so see you then. See ya. See ya. See ya.